girl, do not. Absolute. I know he is not. I know he is not. Hey y'all, my name is Amber and I like to watch stuff. And today I'm gonna be watching Saltburn. I don't know anything really about this movie other than it's everywhere. Everyone seems to be watching it and every like thumbnail or post I've seen, people have like shocked or disgusted faces on. So I don't really know what I'm getting myself into. But honestly, not a lot of things shock and disgust me anymore considering how much horror I consume so I don't know how bad it's really gonna be if it's like bodily fluids nasty that that might be a problem but <laughs> other than that is the only thing I can really see getting to me so yeah I really don't know what to expect but it seems really popular so they must be doing something right or something extreme so i figured i would give it a go if you guys end up liking this reaction please remember to like subscribe and ring the bell and let's get into salt burn i wasn't in love with him i know everyone thought i was it was embarrassing really how everyone fawned over him i protected him i was honest with him i understood him i loved him that one shot of him staring at him just gave me, um, Mark Wahlberg in fear vibes. Hey, cool jacket. <laughs> Who are you making fun of, dude? You look like you just stepped out of 1976. I actually like 70s clothing, but still. Hi, Michael Gavey. Oliver. Oliver what? Oliver Quick. What are you reading? Uh, I'm reading maths. I'm a genius. Oh, okay. Come on. It's well. It's not like I don't believe. I can kind of see why you don't have any friends. Uh, uh, okay. Oh. You can't see why you don't have any mates. I'm so sorry. Sorry, I'm late. Sorry, I'm late. I'm so sorry. Got completely lost. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm sorry. Nice to meet you. Didn't you insult his jacket earlier? To look as if it were alive. <clears throat> okay. Yep. Very good. Um He looks bored. Sorry, uh just us. Just a funny word. Why? I don't know. I don't think we really use it in real life, do we? A lot of times when you write papers and such, you talk in a way you wouldn't in real life. It's not what you argue, but how. Great point. Yeah. Especially if you haven't actually read the poems. <laughs> Look forward to hearing your essay. <laughs> No one writes an essay how they speak in real life. Like, I, my grammar just talking in a normal conversation is going to have a lot of, you know, problems. But when I write an essay, I'm actually, I do pretty well at it. Thanks. I would be staying away from you this know dude. There was a college Christmas party tonight. Fucking losers. Like, we wanted to go anyway. Yeah. It seems like you really do. You all right? Um, yeah, I've got a flat tire. The eyebrow ring. Those were so popular. <laughs> 2000s on dudes. Take my bike. No, 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 I couldn't. I mean, I mean it looks like rain. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to. Honestly, it. it's no big deal. You're my college, so... Come on. Uh, yeah. To be fair, dude, you haven't introduced yourself, so why would he really know who you are? Thank you. I'm sorry I don't know your name. I'm, uh, I'm Felix. Oliver. Oliver. Yeah. Thank you. All right, I'll, um, I'll just leave yours in the bike shed, yeah? Yeah, fine. All right, cheers, Ollie. He already seems infatuated with him, or I don't know if it's a love thing or like an admiration wanting to be him type thing. Oh, oh there he is, Ollie. Oliver, Oliver. Come but, here, I hope he's actually going to be nice to him. Wait, take a seat. I owe you a drink. Here, show up, yeah? I'm oh, sorry, are you with friends? Oh, he gonna be pissed and jealous now. No, thank you. No, you can't snake your way out of the ground. I'm, I'm not. And it looks like you are. Why don't you mind your business? I don't have to drink anything I don't want to drink. Oh, Just cut him a break, man. 
What? Yeah. That gonna cost a fucking fortune. Oh, they're wanting him to buy the round, not... Okay, I thought they were booing him because he wasn't drinking another round. Oh, please, I'll bring you the money tomorrow. No. Please, I'm fuck's sake. Thought you might need a hand with these ones, mate. Oh, and you uh, drop this on the floor by your feet. That's nice. Pay it back tomorrow. I don't know what you're talking about, mate. Well, so far he seems the complete opposite of Nate and Euphoria. So this has just become a regular thing. Well, Dad, you know, he felt so guilty about the whole thing that he decided he would pay for all of Farley's education. He's been expelled from almost every school in England for sucking off the teachers. Oh, okay. They've got problems. What? What kind of? What do you mean problems? Mental health and addiction and stuff. Dad was kind of dealing and stuff. Dealing. You don't have mental health problems, do you? Hmm. Fuck them. You're out, Boy Scout. <laughs> Are they sure they ain't gay? I've been chirps here for about an hour. Oh, I wanted at least a hand job. I know, we all want a fucking hand job, mate. Well, I mean, you can give yourself one. Oh, Lord, this. You'll get bored of you. Excuse me? Boot liquor. You're just jealous that you're not the one they're paying attention to. <laughs> He's got zero to heart. Like, who would I even sit him next to? I felt that in my soul because I'm the exact same way. Oliver, don't feel bad about that. He's a scholarship boy who buys his clothes from Oxfam. Harsh. That's so harsh. You're such a snob. For real, though. Like, yeah, he's a scholarship kid, which means he's extremely fucking smart. Like, that's not a bad thing. Damn. So this watching through windows started this early. It's a bit weird, dude. What's that smell? Um, I don't know. Ugh. Well, look at the room. It could be any kind of smell. Never do it. Yes, I will. No, you won't. Oh, yes, I will. I said no, I'd do it won't. later. What? Oh, fucking stop. I'm not a fucking child. I can do it myself. Okay. You can, but you don't. <laughs> King's arms later? Yeah, yeah, maybe. Um, I'll text you, yeah. Is he just bored with him, or, like, does he see his damn weirdness with staring in windows and whatnot? We are supposed to meet. Uh, yeah, they were at the pub. So he's bored with both of you, then? Whatever. You gonna bang him. They both feel like they're getting back at him somehow. Thanks. He'll be jealous. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it is. I don't think I'll even fucking register. Probably not. Yeah, I don't think that's what she wanted to hear. Um, what the fuck am I looking at? Please tell me that's not chunky ass vomit. Or shit, did somebody just like blow ass on the toilet? What's happened? Cracked his head on the pavement. Probably yeah. drunk. No one died. Oh. Is your mom alright? She was completely incoherent. Is this real or is he making up a story so that he pays attention to him again? Oh, <laughs> nice. Tux. Thank you. Oh god, here oh, we go. It's a rental, right? Yeah. Yeah. Who cares? How often do you wear a damn tux that you need to freaking buy one? When somebody dies, we write their name on a, um, on a stone and we chuck it in the river. It just feels a bit fucking stupid now. No, it's not stupid. Thank you. Is he sure he's not gay? Because this is reading like he's in love with him. Well, that can't be good. I was about to say that did not sound like it landed in water. Lovely. I don't think I'll ever go home again. But what about your mom? She, he probably lied about her. The fucking filth of the place. The mess. I can't do it. Well, why don't you come home with me? Come to Saltburn. 
And you know what? If you get sick of us, you can leave. I promise. Well, I would hope you would be able to leave. Saltburn. Why is he dressed all fancy in what I'm assuming is a flash forward? That's his house? That looks like a damn castle. Mr. Quick, you're early. Uh, I've got the earlier train. They just stand there all day? Just leave your bag there. Someone will get it for you. Ollie! Thank God you're here! He seems like he's being weird too. Try not to be too terrified of Duncan. Uh, Duncan, uh, stop being so frightening in front of my friends. Well, I'll try. Come on. Okay, so this is a regular thing for Duncan? Red staircase. I accidentally fingered my cousin here. Okay, Theon Greyjoy. My room. You'll be staying just next door. Oh, by the way, we're going to be sharing a bathroom. I hope you don't mind. Otherwise, you'd be miles away on the other end of the house. He'll probably love it. It's relaxed, I promise. We'll be in the library. Library? Of course they have a library. Have you not seen the rest of this place? Mm. Probably squat. And both his parents were dealing. Why are y'all just sitting here talking about this dude? Not attractive, and his parents are drug addicts. I don't uh -uh. actually understand. And here he is. No, we were just oh. talking about. Don't you. be silly. Oh God, why is Farley here? Couldn't he have gone somewhere else? Oh, what beautiful eyes! Oh, how wonderful! I have a complete and utter horror of ugliness. Ever since I was very young, mm. I don't know why. No, because you're a terrible person. Uh, yeah. Um. Okay, lady. Off you pop. Okay. Poor dear Pamela. She's been staying with us while she gets back on her feet. She's had an awful time this year. Hideous. I just like to tell everybody's business. Tell me about your mother. How is she bearing up? Still drinking. Stop. These people, <laughs> they are something else. Fucking hell. Yeah, they're, these, they're, there's some people. These people are. Dress for dinner? Yeah, it's like, it's like black tie. I could have brought one. Why? Oh, no, don't be silly. I mean, I have a spare. It'd be a waste. Why? Why do you have to dress in black tie for dinner? It was just so lovely at first, and then all of his business partners started sort of falling out of windows. Oh. I don't know what I'd do without Elsbeth. She really saved me. Don't bang on about it, Pamela, darling. You know we're delighted to have you for however long it is you mean to stay. I think I might have um, found somewhere. Oh, well done, darling. Ooh. Yeah, my cousin. My cousin has a flat. I think everybody is ready for her to go. Hey. Huh? Fucking hell, you gave me a fright. So I just thought you were sleepwalking. No, I wanted to have a look at the moon. Why would sleepwalking be your first thought? Sorry, you must be, you must be cold. <laughs> I'm sorry you were in your underwear. I think you're more cold. I think I like you more than last year's one. Last year's one? Is this just a regular thing for all these people? Just collecting people? We're over here, Ollie! She's not naked. No trunks allowed in the field. Why are they laying in a field naked? Oh, well, well. Leave them alone. Good for you. I guess Ollie's packing. I think that is the last movie that ever scared me. I was 12 years old and was paranoid of my TVs after that. I never really had a horror movie scare me since then. Yes, do you know that? I've always loved his work, but I've never seen anything of his in real life. He's gonna start trying to learn about everyone so he can make them like him. They have their own labyrinth. Can I help you? Is that gonna come into play later? Lots of people get lost in Saltburn. Okay, Duncan. Um. Oh, okay. It's just a long time. I see. <laughs> um, and he's really trying to say he's he wasn't in love with this dude. All right. <clears throat> Night, mate. Oh. Ew. Ew. Oh, 
not the drain. Please not. Ew, the noises. What the hell are you doing? Oh, the drain. Oh, God. He just slurped his jizz and ass water. I was a lesbian for a while, you know. But it was all just too wet for me in the end. Men are so lovely and dry. This woman has, like, no filter, no sense of what she should and should not talk about. Why? Because. Because what? Because she's so fucking beautiful. What is this guy playing at? What do you think uh, Pamela will be wearing tonight? What? Oh, Pamela's not here. I know she's had a hideous time the past few years, but honestly, she did go on about it. I thought of it was true. See, he's lying. The stories today just seemed a bit inconsistent at times. I thought you noticed it too. Why is he trying to manipulate everybody? I was feeling quite guilty about it this afternoon, but you're absolutely right. There was actually something quite sinister about it. About her? It's for you, Oliver. You're so perceptive. Are you sure it's not Marky Mark here? You're presumptuous. Uh-huh. And you're in a see-through nightdress underneath my window. See, he's just acting completely different. Like, he's way more confident and cocky at this point. Is Has he been putting on an act this whole time? You're not eating anything. Yes, I am. Whoa, whoa dude. So tomorrow, what? you're going to eat. Do you understand? Okay, is this like a, a Dom thing and he's using her eating disorder in that? I, I don't think you should mix those two things. It, it's, it's not the right time of the month. Is there something you think I'm worried about? Yeah, I just watched him slurp jizz and dirty ass juice out of a nasty ass bathtub drain. I don't think he cares about a little blood. It's lucky for you are a vampire. Okay. Okay. No. No thank you. I really don't need any uterine lining on my lips, thanks. Why is this guy so gross? You can be freaky, you know, without being nasty. Alright, so now he's just, um... You stupid little boy. He's just really gonna be a vampire now. Do something fun for your birthday. A proper party. No Henry's. Something actually fun. I think Oliver looks like he'd rather throw himself out of a window. Maybe he'd like to throw you out of a window. All your friends. What friends? Oh, oh. Arlie, I don't think you should push this man because there is something wrong in his head. You seem annoyed about something. Not annoyed about anything. Okay. It's just slightly bad porn, that's all. Well, Farley told him. Well, I saw her, I saw oh, her outside and I went down to see was she okay and I think she got the wrong end of the stick because she tried to kiss me and I politely stirred her away. He is just manipulating everybody in his path. Felix warned you off then. It's just so disappointing. You're just another one of his toys. I don't know, at this point I'm thinking Oliver is making all of you his toys. Well, he's enjoying himself. Oh, he could just fuck me. Is he gonna try to screw everybody in his family? Well, I know you're going through a hard time at home. I don't know how that feels. Is he gonna try to screw the dad next? And it must be so fucking weird having to ask them for everything. If I can help in any way. I mean, he is going around collecting them left and right. He's your best friend and mine. Oliver Quick. Oh, Lord. With everything we see, I never want anything. I prefer Henry and his dancing, to be honest. I love you. You pay my rent. Woo! You tell him. So Farley manipulated him right back. This is your song as well, Farley. Come finish it. 
just shade throwing contest going on. Oh. Oh, I thought he was just mad. Oh. Did he bring that shard of glass in there? Are you going to behave from now on, Farley? No. What's going to happen? I'm worried that he's gonna stab him. Don't make me ask again. Say it. I'm scared. I'm going to behave. I'm terrified that he's about to slice his wiener off. Oh, okay. Okay. He didn't slice his wiener off. That's all. <laughs> That's where I thought we were going with that. What happened? He tried to nick someone. What are you talking about? No, I didn't. That was all over. You talk about biting the hand. And mom and dad would give him anything he asked for. Yeah, well, obviously he got sick of asking. Oliver set this whole thing up. Glorious day. Never known a summer as hot as this one. Swell. I think it's even hotter than last year. I just pretend nothing's going on. I didn't know you are going to London. Pamela's funeral. Oh. Pamela died? Yeah. Did you do anything for attention? Uh, what the hell happened to Pamela? Look, Ollie, just, just hear me out, all right? No, 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 just no, hear me no, out no, for a second. Oh, you doing? Your mom what? called a week ago. You, you left your phone in the bathroom, so I thought I thought I, I, I sort of just picked up. Oh, Lord. Is his mom going to be, like, completely fine? And... I'm taking hey. you. I'm taking you. I'm not taking no for an answer, mate. I'm sorry. You have to fix this, mate. Yeah, his mom's probably not poor, not on drugs. Oliver. Oh, Franz, you're alive. <laughs> so nice to meet you. Your father's in the garden. His father? Yeah. Oh. Oh, well, this is awkward. <laughs> 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 oh, that was in Mykonos. We go every year. So he's been lying from the beginning. And now he's the top scholar at Oxford. <laughs> the top scholar. This dude is a sociopath. The plays, oh, yeah, the, the rowing team. Oh. The rowing team. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, God. What do you mean? I've got these horrible migraines. So he's lying to everybody. Is. Let me just explain. I think the best thing is that you go home after your party. It's too late to cancel it now, and summer's almost finished anyway. I will see you back at Oxford. And we can still be friends, though. Sir, you have lied about everything from the very start. You're a fucking liar, Ollie. Mm-hmm. To put it mildly. I just wanted to be your friend. I don't think it was just, I want to be your friend. I think he does this a lot and always has. Have you seen Felix? Nope. I'm sure Felix is hiding from you. You can't ignore me forever. I can try. Felix, we need to talk. Felix, come on. Look, man, try to be nice and you fuck off and bother somebody else. Felix is completely justified. That just looks like a horror movie. Why would the man wear a pig mask while cooking a pig? Hello, Farley. How did you know it was me? Signet ring. God, you really do notice everything, don't you? He has to, to be a good liar. I think can't have a mic with you. Oh, Oliver, you'll never catch on. This place... <laughs> you know, it's not for you. He is losing control of everyone now. Catch a train... to whatever creepy doll factory it is that you make Oliver's in, and I... <laughs> he does have a creepy, stoic thing to him whatever happens i always come back dude i have a feeling he would skin you and wear you as a bodysuit so you might want to be careful i don't feel comfortable with them going off alone when this guy is in the state that he is in right now I don't feel good about this. He's either going to watch them 
do it just to be creepy, or he's gonna do something. Felix. Oh, Jesus Christ. What the fuck are you doing here? I need to talk. Being weird? Throw me away. Get the fuck away from me! Fuck. Look, I just gave you what you wanted! What? Everyone puts on a show for Felix. But you're not just putting on a show for Felix. You're putting on a show for everybody you meet. Even your parents. I just need you to understand how much I fucking love you. You're the only friend that ever had Felix. But he didn't even know who you really were, so that's not friendship. What did you know? You made my fucking blood out cold. Ah, uh, it is very scary behavior. Felix, you need to get the hell away from this dude. I don't trust him as far as I can throw him. Why is everybody yelling for Felix? <laughs> what? Did he go back in there and kill Felix? Darling, darling boy. Did he go back in and kill him? We need to get him inside. Get him warm. Sir, I don't, I don't think... We just need to get him warmed up. Sir, that's not gonna help. Yes, come away, darling. <sighs> yes. It's nearly lunch? Jesus Christ, dude. Are they all just supposed to sit around and act like nothing happened? Why didn't you tell us about last night? Last night? Mm, did you have a lovely time? Yeah, it was uh, wonderful. Just act like nothing's going on. May I be permitted to close the curtains? Uh, so the coroner's outside and may need to pass the window. Yes, thank you. Close them. They're trying to pretend nothing's going on, but it is not working. Oh, okay. I think we all need some professional help. The lunch is cold. We want me to sit here and like nothing's happening. What else is there to do, darling? Anything! Emote! You're not the only person here with feelings. So just feel your feelings. What the fuck are you still doing here? For real? I have no idea. What I'm saying is I would feel guilty too. Guilty? If I was the one racking up lines the night someone died. Are we gonna, like, try and blame him when he was nowhere near Felix? Don't you dare look at her! Get out! I won't mention this to the police. That's all you'll get. Has Oliver really just manipulated his way back into this family because of Felix's death? He had to have killed him, right? Are we allowed to cry at the funeral? This poor man's having to hold umbrellas for everybody but himself. So, he either killed him and this is a guilty cry. Or, he didn't kill him, and he actually is mourning. What is he doing? Is it gonna be some more weird shit? Why did I think he was gonna, like, try and crawl his way into the casket with him? <laughs> See, now he's stroking the dirt all seductively. What in the fuck is happening? Oh no. Oh, do not. Absolute. I know he is not. I know he is not. What is going on? <laughs> No, you are not. 
that? I know he is not fucking this. Someone please see this man doing this and just put him in a damn hospital. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? I'll leave you. You're not going anywhere, honest, darling. I was just going upstairs. But you're not leaving us. You're not leaving Sullivan. Lord, is he just gonna start living Felix's life now? You only knew him for six? Months. That obsession kicked in hard and fast. Here you are, right in the middle of it all. Ooh, stranger fucking danger. Yeah, girl. You ate him right up and you licked the fucking plate. What is going on with these strange people? She said it herself. She couldn't live without him. He is killing anybody that's going to ruin the situation for him. It would be best if the family was able to grieve in private. I just think it's best if I stay. I want to do what's right for her. He's going to kill him. How much for you to leave and never come back to cease all contact with my wife? Why? Because we all have to move on. I know you live under somewhat difficult circumstances, but... He's got... Uh, his family isn't poor. Is he dead? It, did he push him off the stairs, please? Oh, okay. He's leaving. So, how far into the future is this? Oliver. Elspeth, my god. He planned on running into her. I'm all over the place at the moment. I, I read the news about Sir James. I'm sure you did. Have you been happy? I don't think this man is capable of happiness. Come up and stay. Get salt bun. It's almost like the... Their house, their estate itself is a person who he's obsessed with. It's just such a shame you got so well. Oh no. Oh no. It's been a privilege to look after you. He is a psychopath. I promise I'll look after this house just as Felix would have. We got there in the end, didn't we? Okay. But is there really ever such thing as an accident, Elspeth? Not with you around. See, I knew it. Just manipulating everybody right from the jump. I loved him. I loved him. I don't I don't think you're capable of love. Sometimes. I because you weren't him? Okay. Oh! <laughs> oh, did we have to do that? But they're still dunking. Why are we watching him have a little dance session after he just murdered everybody and he's buck ass naked? Just swanging. This might be like the longest shot of a dude's wiener in a movie. In like a mainstream type movie. <laughs> This movie was insane. <laughs> I should have expected it to be, considering all of the faces that I have seen and thumbnails and whatnot, but I, I just, 
everything caught me so off guard. It's not that anything in particular was too crazy. Well, that's not true. The the grave was was insane, but I mean, we I've seen a lot of disturbing and weird things in movies. I just they did it so differently than what I was expecting them to that it caught me off guard. Oliver, he manipulated everyone in his path to get what he wanted. At first, I thought he was just kind of some kind of sociopath, and I didn't think he would actually kill somebody. And then Felix died, and yeah, that pretty much, I knew. I knew from there where this was going to go. What I don't understand is if he actually did care about Felix. He says he loved him, but he hated him. So I guess, I guess that he loved him and hated him. Maybe he loved him as a person, but hated him because he was everything he couldn't be. I don't know. I don't know. But obviously, either way, he had some kind of obsession with Felix in particular because he seemed to hyper-focus on him. So, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. I need time. To digest what I just saw because right now I'm I just feel like this is a movie that I'm gonna have to sit with and let it soak in and <laughs> form an opinion then. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. You let me know what you thought about this movie down in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one.